Hello and welcome to Creepskates Reviews. My name's Mitch, and this week we're doing something a little bit different. I'm going to review a game. I'm on PlayDosGamesOnline.com, and I'm going to be playing Hugo's House of Horrors. Although I don't get any nostalgia from playing DOS games because I never... Well, my first console was a Nintendo 64 I got when I was 10. So I really miss this era. And this game was made in 1990. So no nostalgia there for me. And I'm sorry if this is blasphemous for any DOS fans. Um, yeah, I'm excited to play it. So let's go ahead. Oh, man. That was amazing. Um, seems like I've got a haunted house here. The classic eyes. I've got a glitchy bat, blue bat that keeps flying around. And I've got some sort of tree that looks like string cheese. I think this the whole point of this is that he's trying to save his girlfriend. She left him apparently after he just wouldn't stop moonwalking. Okay, so let's try get inside um, so the idea is to type commands into so we appear to be in a house that unfortunately has a painting the exact same shade of grey as my hair look he has those roller skate shoes that every kid wears okay here we are in a giant dining room. It looks like there's... Oh. Care for a chop. Yes. Um, cool. I have a chop. It looks like there's... I don't know. Is that meant to be Frankenstein? Who's just chewing with his mouth open? That's so rude. And then there's like a walrus guy... And at the end there is, I think, is that a sand person? And there's also a roast chicken just sitting there, chilling. Eat chop. Okay. Cool. Okay. Gonna try this room. Oh no, oh god. Oh dear, it seems the nice doggy has eaten you all up. That sucks. Uh, so I'm gonna try some other ch shit in this fucking game. Okay, sweet. So here we are, I'm just gonna try to walk to the, um... What? You can't even walk on the grass? Is there something in there? Is that something on my screen? Yeah, that's something on my screen. So, I just got into the shed and I got an oil can. Pour oil can on self. Why did you make a curved path for someone who cannot walk in a diagonal? Okay, so I need another chop, I think. Give me a chop. Why are you blocking me from walking? Don't be a douche. What are you doing? And now you're following me. This is... What kind of dinner party is this? I can't even move. What in the world's going on? What is your problem? Oh, God. I need 
need to get out of this room. I'm getting like anxious just being so close to this guy in the game, let alone ask for chop. Uh, chop. Give me a chop. Get chop. Oh. Uh, ask butler for chop. Have I ruined this already? <sighs> I need another chop. I ate mine. Why did they eat it? Oh. <laughs> Take. Take chop. Come on. I have to... Take chop. I'm not starting this again from the start. Please offer me another chop. Please let me out of the door. Please. Please let me out. Oh. Come on. Give me a chop. Why won't you just give me another chop? I hate this game. Just let me out. Just let me out. <laughs> Just let me out. God, this fucking sucks. This sucks so much. Why did I do a game review? Why? Why was I so stupid? There's already enough game reviews. Oh, I made it. Let me out. Yes. Okay. Okay. So what's in here? No, <laughs> it's the kitchen. Oh. Um. So I guess that's the end of my playthrough of Hugo's House of Horrors. The butler won't let me out of the room. review games. I've never been good at games. Why would I think that now would be any different? This game was a gift from Satan. I think it should go in the bin. It is no good. I don't recommend it. This has been Mitch with Creepskates reviews. There's a dog barking next door. This has been Mitch with Creepskates Reviews. Thanks for... Thanks for watching. We're now accepting submissions of horror flash fiction under 1,500 words that will feature in a horror fiction podcast on the channel periodically. If you're interested in finding out more, there's a link in the description. Alternatively, if you've got a true paranormal story, we're putting together a segment compiling viewer-submitted ghost stories. Follow the link on the screen to an instructional video detailing how to submit your story.